please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Heiser versus Envy. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Heiser, you say your ex-husband, Mr. Onby, is a textbook deadbeat who abandoned you and your daughter almost 20 years ago. You claim Mr. Onby has spent that time inventing outlandish excuses for denying his only daughter, but you say it all comes down to child support. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Onby, you claim Ms. Heiser was a prolific cheater who kept no less than three men in her stable at any given time. You say Ms. Heiser's infidelities were the stuff of local legend. And there is no way you fathered her 19-year-old daughter, Gabby. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Heiser, what do you mean by textbook deadbeat? Exactly what it means, Your Honor. He's never been there for Gabrielle since birth. Emotionally, physically, financially, in every term a father should be. In the beginning, when I first met him, he seemed like a stand-up guy, a family man. Within the first year, we decided to get married. I had found out I was pregnant and told him he was happy at first, told his friends and family. Mm -hmm. Within a few months, it started to deteriorate. So, Mr. Onby... You don't believe Gabby is your biological daughter? No, ma'am. Tell the court why. Another man had walked up on me and asked, and, uh, asked me what we're, we're, we were going to do about his child. Oh. Referring to Gabby? Yes, ma'am. Oh. So a man walks up to <clears throat> you on the street and just says, I'm the father of your wife's baby? Basically. Oh. Did you ever ask your wife about this? She, she basically blew me off. Ms. Heiser, do you remember this conversation? It's the biggest lie I've ever heard, Your Honor. <laughs> so it didn't happen? He knows that I have been faithful to him. Wow. It's just wow. another reason and all the more to try to deny Gabby and smear my name. Gabrielle is his daughter. So he you don't her. believe the guy ever came up to him and said anything? I don't believe that ever happened. Do you remember the day he came up to you and said, hey, this guy's on the street talking about what are we gonna do about this I've baby? I've never heard of this at all, Your Honor, before today. She keeps at least three men around. I... You're the waste of time. <laughs> so, Ms. We'll Heiser, so. at this point, he tells you some man told me you're pregnant. He says you blew him off, but you don't remember the conversation at all. The conversation never happened, So, when you found out you were pregnant with Gabby, what what did you do? You just told your husband, I'm pregnant. A pregnancy test was done. We had talked about it. I told him, and he was happy. He was happy? He didn't believe, even at the time, that he could have children himself. He always thought that he couldn't. So, this felt like a mirror. I was 19. How could I believe I wasn't having children? Uh Well, apparently not grown up enough, because you like your fiddle tails, don't you? Yeah, okay, Miss Three Men. Grow up, David. All right. So, you tell him you're pregnant and he's happy. Did he express any doubt at the time? He didn't express any doubt until about three, four months down the line when we had our first argument. We didn't speak for a couple of months. Then he came back again. Another argument. Takes off again. That was his style. David don't face anything head on, including parenthood. He runs. I'll face anything I need to if it's mine. Okay, David. That's what we're here today for. Proof's in the pudding. So, Mr. Mr. Onby, you're saying that what Ms. Heiser said is not true? Exactly, ma'am. So, Ms. Heiser, at some point, you have the baby. Is he there with you? He wasn't there with me through most of the pregnancy. What about a when Gabby was born? A friend of a friend born? notified him the day that I had went into labor. He showed up halfway through the birth, drunk and full of grease. He stayed for two hours and left, and I didn't see him again for two more weeks until he showed up on my doorstep needing a place to stay and wanted to play daddy. <laughs> so, Mr. Ombi, did you go back home after you came and saw no, Gabby ma'am. in the hospital? No, ma'am. What happened? I, I was, uh, I was notified that she was in labor. I was drinking. Yeah, I shot down there and, uh, I watched her born. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sign on the, uh, birth certificate because I already knew once you signed the birth certificate, you are the father and I had doubts of me being the father due to the conversation me and this other guy had. So, you didn't sign the birth certificate. No, You're a you liar. Were... Yes, you did. But you were married Show at the time. Show me, then. You can't. They have a copy of the birth certificate, Where's David. It at? Where's it at? Show me. Well, the court does have a copy of the but birth certificate. But you don't have my signature on it. But your name is on it. 
But not by a signature, Your Honor. But you didn't sign it. But you have to understand, your name is clearly listed, Mr. Ambi, because you were married to Ms. Heiser at the time. So, under the law, you are the father. At that point, you disappear. And you admit that, you leave the hospital, you don't come back. Exactly. She says you come back to the house two weeks later. Did you come back to the house? You never came back to play daddy? No, ma'am. So, when's the last (laughs) time... When's the next time after this you see Miss Heiser or Gabby? (sighs) Tell you the truth, I really don't. Well, come on, now you're full of stories. Think of something good. (laughs) Gabby, I want to hear from you now, because this this right here... This back and forth between them, it's not productive. No. I want to hear from you. What are your memories of the man you were told is your biological father? Um, he was never really been in my life. Uh, my, actually, my five-year-old birthday party, um, he showed up to it for about 10 minutes and he left, told me he was going to for a toy and didn't show back up with this toy and didn't see him for years later, so... So, he came to your fifth birthday for 10 minutes and told you, I'm gonna go get a toy. Mm-hmm. And never came back. Never came back. Never for years. Me, never talked to me for years. I didn't see him for years. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Mr. Onby, did you leave the birthday party saying you were getting a toy and never came back? I did not tell anybody else you wanted to get a toy. She got a baby doll that day. So you brought a toy with you? Yes, ma'am. But if you didn't think she was your daughter, why even do that? There were, at this this point in time, there were doubts. And uh, I'm still... I'm, that's what I'm here. I'm here today for closure. So, Gabby, tell me what was life like? Not having your father, being was... told you know who he is, but he just doesn't come around. I think about how he could have been the one being there. It's all right, honey. It's okay to say how you feel. <laughs> what do you feel? I don't know. I have a lot of resentment towards him because he could have been there. He could have been the one to take me to my daddy-daughter dance or be there for my kindergarten graduation or be there for my prom or... Talk to him. Let him know how that felt. (laughs) Or to know that you're taking care of so many other kids but you can't even take care of your one and only kid. Like, you're a one and only daughter, man. (laughs) Or to sit here and hook up with a family member and play daddy to another family member but can't take care of... Okay. Mr. Onby, I really can't understand why you would be this cruel, why you have this much doubt if this was your wife. What, what, what did, what happened? Can I, can I show you, Your Honor? Is this uh, a piece of evidence you yes. brought? Yes, Please, Your Honor. step over to the exhibit. I had been laying block at the time. I was at work. Uh, this family member told me that, uh, he had reason to believe that she may be cheating on me because I would go to work and maybe an hour later, this truck would pull up, okay? And he would leave probably 30 minutes to an hour before I got home. One day I got off work early, okay? I went to my family member's house, which is here. He told me what was going on. So I immediately shot out the back door, cut across the neighbors and came over to the house to the front door in which was open. So I opened the door. The bedroom is maybe 40 feet from the front door. I heard them loud and clear. There was no doubt in my mind what they were doing. At this point... This is your wife? Yes. You say it was clear what they were doing? They were having sex. It was very loud. You could hear it clearly as day. I grabbed a six-pack of beer out of the fridge, which was mine. I hit the front door and I never looked back. So you saying you caught your wife having sex with someone else, walked in on it, but you didn't confront her. No, ma'am. You just grabbed a six-pack of beer and left and never looked back. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Miss Heiser, did that happen? That is another lie, Your Honor. The lies just keep getting on bigger and bigger. Okay. I'll I mean, show you some lies right here in a minute. But also for a man that believes it's not your daughter, why would you show up to the birth? Why did you show up even the one time for her birthday and leave? Maybe I want to see if I mean, is this me. daughter by convenience or just, mm-hmm. you know? Why did you show up? Tell us. 
because I don't know for surely that, that she's not mine. Um, you don't know if she is, but you also don't know if she isn't. Exactly. I have snapshots off Facebook where uh, Gabrielle was telling this other man that he was the father and that oh. she knew he was her daddy. So, Mr. Ambi, you're saying you saw this on Facebook. Yes, ma'am. And this is a post from Gabby that says, my daddy. Yes, ma'am. Do you recognize that post? I don't. I, I, I recognize the picture. I remember the picture. Um... Who is this man? And you're saying it's my daddy. A family friend. <laughs> yeah, he sure is. So this is a family friend, and you've taken a picture, and you call him your daddy? I, I don't remember posting that, but obviously I did. Um... I don't remember the wording myself. I remember the picture. Yeah. I, I, but not the additional wording to it, quoting her dad. But I... Well, it's there. So, I, I mean, what was your intention at the time? Did... Were you told that this could potentially be your um, dad? I, around this time, yes, I was told, uh, like, plenty of times that he was. Oh. And what who told that? you this? The woman he was sleeping with. Oh. A family member. She tried to play stout into her mind. Right. Oh. Oh, so the oh. family member you were with started to tell you this Him isn't... and me that... Mr. Ombi isn't your dad. This other family friend is. Right. Yes, Your Honor. So when this family friend came by, you believed it? You saw him and you believed it? Um, it's not that I believed it. Uh, he just... He started coming around more than he ever did just to see me, uh, just to see my mom, too. Um... I personally, I don't remember posting about him being my dad, but he def it's definitely been put into my head for years that he was. It's been put in your head for years that he is. Right. By just this one person or confirmed by other people? Uh, just her, yes. Just the one person. Yes. She would say consistently, you know, this is yes. your dad. And would explain backstories on why. She thought that he was. Okay. Now, is this a man you've been intimate with, Ms. Heiser? Mm-hmm. No, I've never been intimate with him, Your Honor. That's the biggest lie in the courtroom. No, I haven't. That's the biggest lie in the courtroom. Well, gosh, you've been telling lots, so I might as well join in, huh? Come on in. Jump in the water. It's fine. <laughs> you two, my goodness. So you, you believe she was also sleeping with this man? You think that's, that's true? That's him. That's who she was sleeping with when I left the house. Oh, that's who was in the that's house? That's him. That is him. That's the man you heard in the bedroom? Yes, ma'am. That is him. He's lying, Your Honor. <laughs> Boy. It's not funny, man. You, 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 you I mean, if you're getting your thrills yeah. by I'm the lies so you feel better by okay. tearing your kid apart, I yeah. mean, run with it. Okay. Gabby, what are you feeling right now? It's upsetting you that... I don't... Uh, I, don't even, I don't even know what to say. Like... This all boils down, Your Honor. He doesn't want to pay child support. He owes me over no, I'm asking Gabby. Child support for not That's what this years. is all about. Of course, I'm he's going to come say the I'm asking Gabby for to wear, because I'd like to see I the money. I paid 20-something thousand in child support last summer. Come on with it. Listen, what I'm concerned about at this very moment that everybody just seems to want to skip over, but we've had a moment in this courtroom for me that really was a light bulb that went on. Because consistently, you've not only been told, Gabby, that Mr. Ombi is your biological father, another family member has consistently told you that the man in this picture is your biological father. So much so, you take this picture with him and you post and you put, my daddy. There's real doubt in this story. There's real mystery here. And it's truly affected you for 19 years. How do you entertain all this as a young girl? When your family member is telling you someone else is your father, I don't blame you for putting my daddy up there. You don't know. This is confusing. I think it's time for the results. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Heiser versus Onby, when it comes to 19-year-old Gabrielle Onby, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Onby, you 
are the father. I can see you truly shocked. <sighs> yes, ma'am. This has been going on for 19 years. Do you have something you'd like to say to your daughter? You have no, you have no idea what I've been through with that woman. Okay, and you have no idea what I've been through as 19 not having you there. You always have to find someone to blame. Even now, you can't be a man and stand up? Listen, uh. listen. You two have to stop this. What I want you to know, Gabby, you may not be ready to have the relationship. You may not be ready to have the hug. That is totally up to you. But I do want you to understand that with every day, there is possibility. But the most important thing is you got the truth. He got the truth. And I hope you'll take it one day at a time. We have counseling and resources for you both. I wish you all the very, very best. Court is adjourned. <laughs>